Are you a serious multi-sport athlete looking to use science-based data to improve your race? If so, the Exercise Physiology Lab at DeSales University may be able to help you. Here's how. We have an excellent teaching laboratory for the students in our Exercise Physiology program. We've been providing laboratory testing for local athletes for nearly two decades. Because we're a teaching lab, all testing is provided free of charge. And this is a win-win for both our students and the athletes that we serve. For reasons of safety and liability, we're not a fee-for-service facility, and we have to do everything we can to minimize risk to both our students and the athletes who come to the lab. The most often requested lab test is maximal oxygen consumption, usually called VO2 max. It measures your ability to deliver oxygen to your working muscles and is a useful measure of your endurance capacity. In our lab, we use the Parvo True One system to measure VO2 max. This is the same system used by the Olympic Training Centers because of its accuracy and its validity. We can also do VO2 max and other exercise testing using the Velotron Precision Bike Ergometer. This has the advantage of measuring power output directly in watts. Although VO2 max is an important metric, assessing the lactate profile is much more valuable in the design and monitoring of your training program. In our lab, we normally do both the lactate profile and VO2 max testing in the same session. This gives athletes and their coaches a maximum amount of information from one visit to the lab. Here's an example of a composite report from a combined test of lactate profile and VO2 max as we provide it to the athlete following the test. An assessment of body composition is also commonly requested. We use our research grade underwater weighing tank as the best way to provide this information. If we are very, very careful in the procedure, we can achieve a repeatability of plus or minus half a percent body fat. The ratio of fat mass to lean mass is critical for multi-sport athletes, since you have to lift extra weight uphill during the bike and run phases, but you need some fat mass for buoyancy and insulation during the swim. Managing fluid balance during Olympic and Ironman races is also critical for multi-sport athletes. In our lab, we can measure electrolytes in sweat blood, and urine, and by careful measurement of weight changes, we can then provide a comprehensive report which will help you maximize your hydration strategy to achieve your best performance. Here's an example of a hydration report. It points out to the athlete several aspects of his hydration strategy which deserve attention. It also gives him information about ion losses that will help him choose the right thing to drink during and following training sessions and races. In addition to the four common tests that we just described, we have several other technologies that we can use in working with you. We're happy to use these technologies to help you and our students learn how to use them to give your best effort to your race. A really exciting new technology is the MOXIE Muscle Oxygen Monitor, which we've been using in our lab for the past two years. It can be worn over a working muscle during training sessions, and it transmits the data to your watch or bike head unit and it can give you information about the shift to an anaerobic state in your muscles without having to stick your finger to measure lactate. If you would like to find out more about any of these performance assessments, please contact us by email or phone. Ordinarily, we will follow the guidelines shown on the slide. Athletes must be cleared for maximal exercise. They must be regularly training and competing at maximal levels. They must be between 19 and 35 years of age, although we've allowed younger athletes to participate if at least one parent is present during all testing and communication. We look forward to hearing from you to discuss how our program can help you make your next race better.